we are seeing an increase, a continued increase in case detections of COVID-19. Um, it's the fifth or sixth week in a row um, where, we're start, where we're seeing increases in the reported numbers of cases. Omicron, the variant, the latest variant of concern, um, is dominant worldwide. And there are many sub-variants, sub-lineages of Omicron that are currently circulating. About half of the sequences that have been shared in the last uh, four weeks or so um, are BA.5, one of the sub-lineages. And there are even further sub-lineages of BA.5. So this virus continues to evolve. This is driven by a, a number of factors. It's driven by intense mixing of individuals in the absence of mitigation measures, in the absence of wearing masks and distancing. Deaths are also increasing and deaths have been increasing for the last five weeks. This is driven by um, you know, some groups that are not well protected with the vaccine, meaning they have not been vaccinated or they have not received the full number of doses that are required for them. Almost half of the deaths uh, that were reported in the last week were from the Americas, and about 33% of those deaths were in Europe. And among the top 50 countries that have had reported um, you know, increases in deaths, 35 countries had more than a 100% increase in deaths reported in the last week. Three countries had more than a thousand percent increase in deaths in the last week. It's not the trends that we want to be seeing right now. Um, our good news is that our interventions continue to work against all of the variants, all of the subvariants as well. We just need to consistently apply them and we need to consistently use them, really focusing mostly on vaccinating those who are most at risk, but also using other measures to lower your risk of infection. Masks and distancing, improving ventilation, working from home if unwell. These recommendations are still in place. Doesn't mean that you can't live your life, but we want people to do it a little bit safer.